have a customer come in, want to order these rings from a company, and they end up messing them all up. So I'm going to have to remake them and actually make them myself, and we're going to show you how I go about doing it. Now, uh, this will be the man's ring. It's, I made the ring circle size 11 and a half for his finger size. And we're going to uh, offset this by 1.8. And offset it. And then I take that and I just give it one nudge up. That way it gives me about a 2 millimeter here and about a 1.6 thickness here. I'm going to uh, extrude it both sides yes and it'll be three millimeters so we've got a size 11 and a half uh, six millimeters wide now I'll just kind of do it this way there's different ways you can do it but this is one way I'm going to uh, offset a curve here and that's going to be one millimeter. And I'm going to repeat that. And I'm going to do this one. That's going to be one millimeter. And then I'm going to come to the front here. I'm going to draw a line from my center. And this could be anywhere you want it, but I'll put it about there. And then I will mirror this over from the center. Now I'll take these curves and I'm going to just project them to this. There they are. And so we have a series of lines here. I'm just going to hide this ring right here. This. Hide that. Oops. I'm going to hide the ring. Now we're going to do some trimming here. What I want to do is trim everything away except for this. And you'll see when it's done. So I'm going to just start trimming things away here. And you can see. We're just kind of getting rid of everything. We're just going to have this little square box here. Kind of like. Okay. I'll get rid of that little piece there. And that should be okay. Highlight them and I'll join them. One closed curve. Bring back our ring shank there. Let's get rid of that curve. We don't need that anymore either. And I don't need that curve. Now, so that's what we're going to, we're going to split this shank here. Or split this with that curve we just made. So now we've got a surface there. We're going to copy that in place. In place up here, and then we're gonna let's join these uh, back together. So we'll take the shank and one surface only. So we've got this, we got a surface, and we got a poly surface. A surface, and okay, we'll do that. All right, now I'm going to uh, let's see, uh, let's offset the surface. That surface right there, and with distance will be one millimeter solid both sides. And now let's put on differences, take this out of here, and then we can cut this surface out, delete it, and then we have our one little channel there. 
Uh, let's uh, go over here and shrink it. We'll go over here. We'll get our UV curve right there. I'm going to move that UV curve. I have to go and I'll move this one. I have my snap on. I'll just move it over here so far. Now let's put a point. Let's find our center. And let's see here. That doesn't look like the center. Let's just see if we get a center. That's not the center. Well, let's try the midpoint then. We got a mid. I just could just, just draw a line and find my center. Just look at something. <clears throat> we'll put a point right there. That was a little unnecessary. I don't know why we weren't snapping to the, the point to begin with, but I want to get rid of these points. I don't need them. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's take a line. From midpoint, and we'll pick our point, put point on, and we'll go 0.5. All right, and we'll draw another one from midpoint, 0.5, and we'll draw a line from the end of these now. Mark on my end and I'll put my intersection. Save it. There. There. The same thing here. We could always just mirror it if we wanted to, like this. So you don't have to draw those lines. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Now we're going to do some trimming. We're going to trim out this. Trim out that. Boom. We're done. We're going to draw a line here. Line here. Connecting this cross here. And I'll do it one more time. Line here. I know you can't see that line, but we're drawing them. I'll lock that outside. There's your cross. And I'll join them. One close curve. I can get rid of that dot point there. I'll unlock this. I'll create a surface here. Take that curve. I'm going to extrude it up one millimeter both sides. No. One enter. And I'm going to do my flow. My flow here. There you have it. You see that's a little bit high there. But, I'll have to look at that. I think maybe I'm off there. I want to see something. Uh, I have to go back for a minute, but. I'm not going to overanalyze that for right now. Not correct it. But that, anyway, that's how it was done. I'll put a point here in the middle so I can move it. And we'll take this. Let's see here. Okay. this color so it's supposed to be uh, 
we'll put some um, radius on a chamfer a little bit. I'll put a 0.3 on the inside and outside edges. And we can look at the render a little bit later, but kind of just show you how I had to do it quick. I had to make two of them. So I'll mill them and do part printing. All right, there you go. Cross ring. White gold, it will be white gold. Let's see here. If I can do one for you. This be simple. Uh, I don't have a very good, I don't have a good renderer. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Metals, gonna be white gold, shiny. Oh, just use silver. Let's see. And then uh, here, let's see if they got anything for pink gold. Not much. Rose gold, gold. Let's try this one. Get the idea there. I hope. Now I'll turn the grid off. Give you an idea. All right, well, give it a try. Thank you.